News, Georgia State Representative Hank Johnson among 10 demonstrators arrested by U.S. Capitol Police all over the battle involving protecting voters' rights. Now, the protest led to uh, led by black men happened Thursday on Capitol Hill, and that's where we find D.C. correspondent Bofta Imam. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Bofta. Good morning, Shannon. Behind me, you can see the Capitol. Now, just to give you some perspective, the protests happened on the other side of the building, so a bit of a distance from here. The arrests happened toward the end of the event, which lasted a few hours. The advocates, the voting rights advocates, participated in a protest called Senate Inaction on Voting Rights Legislation. Representative Johnson can be seen in the video with his hands restrained while chanting. He's one of 10 people arrested by Capitol Police for unlawful demonstrating outside the Hart Senate office building. They were charged with crowding and obstructing. The protest involving about 50 black men called on Congress to end the filibuster and pass the For the People Act. The comprehensive bill would expand voting rights and create national standards that would help override the states that are restricting voter access. But the measure remains stonewalled in the Senate. It may not always be in the media, but brothers do stand up. Right. Brothers do right. speak up. That's right. Brothers do have each other's back. That's right. And when we see someone like the Honorable Sheila Jackson Lee That's right. fighting and sacrificing oh, for yeah. us, right. oh, we yeah. say that we got her back. I'm honored to be here with these courageous men and with the courageous women who stood last week and stood today to demonstrate our tenacity to demonstrate that we aren't going anywhere. That on this day, on this day, at this time, this time, such as now, such as now, right. we will not retreat. That's right. We will not turn around. That's right. That's right. We will not be discouraged. That's right. So it means ending the filibuster. Yeah. That's right. Because a racist Jim Crow legacy policy mm. is not going to be the thing I could go out to in 2022 That's and right. explain to people that is why we didn't pass criminal justice reform. Mm. That is why we didn't put money in your pocket that was needed. Mm. That is why we did not move issues forward. So as much as we want to talk about the Republicans standing in the way, talk about it. I remember being in Senator Schumer's office and he told me all the policies that I wanted when I was meeting with him a couple of years ago, I needed Leader Schumer to accomplish. All right. Well, we got Leader Schumer. We got him. And now we need to accomplish the policies necessary. And that starts with ensuring that we do not lose our ability to express our will for a better future through the vote. Yeah. Come on. That is the work forward. That is how we translate presence to power. Now that protest comes about a week after black women also protested on Capitol Hill and were arrested. Shannon. Well, both that we see that these protests and arrests are taking place, but it's still an uphill battle in the Senate. So are the efforts of the civil rights leaders moving the needle at all? Well, what we know right now is, like you mentioned, it is stonewalled in the Senate, but they are prepared for the long haul, and they are keeping the spirit of the icon, John Lewis, really here as they continue to fight. As we know that he fought for equal voting rights throughout his life. He did not give up. He persisted. He did things, talking about getting into good trouble, protesting as they are. So they're prepared for the long haul, but we know this also comes as more than a dozen states have enacted new laws to to do just that, that voting restriction that I was talking about earlier and making it more difficult to vote. So time is also of the essence here because there are about 400 other laws that have been introduced. So we have some that have been passed, right? And then we have others that have been introduced. And that is the real threat because if they cannot move forward with a comprehensive voting bill that would create national standards to override, to counter what's happening on the state level, what we're looking at right now is that this will be passed even wider, right, by the time you get into the midterm elections. Yeah, you're right. Time is definitely of the essence. Both the Imam in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much and have a great weekend.